In this video, we're going to focus on how we can customize the data set tooltip information. As you can see in here, we have the blue and the black data set. Here, we have the red data set. And these, of course, the text here is different compared to what we have here. It's supposed to show here red sales, blue sales, and black sales, and of course, the value itself. However, this will be shown based on the data set. So depending on the data set, it will show a certain value. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to customize each tooltip data set in Chart.js. And basically we're going to really pinpoint the tooltip itself. So first of all, we need to get the default code which you can find on Chart.js3.com getting started. And this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, just copy this chunk of code here. Copy this. If you want to understand what this code all does, make sure you watch this video here. That explains it all. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste it all in there, cut that out, and put that in here. There we are. If I save this, I want to make sure this is a line chart. And next, I want to make sure we have the full width, or at least 80%. Save, refresh. There we are. So now I have a line chart, but I want to make multiples, or at least multiple data sets. So what I'm going to do here is, because I got this question, and this question was if there will be five, I will make only three for now, because the logic is same. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to just duplicate this two more times. And then what I will do is, I will just remove everything except for the last color, and I'm going to call this the black sales. And then this one will be the blue sales for the blue line, which is the second value here. And just delete this line. This will be the blue sales. And finally, I will have here the red sales, which is the upper line. There we are. If I save this one now, refresh, you can see the line doesn't really change. And the reason why is they are all on top of each other, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just different numbers so you'll be able to see them. I'll make this everything number three, nice symbolic. This will be always 6, and there we are, and finally here we do 9. Save this, refresh. Now we have all of these lines here, and what I want to do, and this was the question, is how do we change, for example, the value once supposed to get the sum? I don't know exactly how or what exactly it was referring to, but probably the sum of this or the, the value, so I'm going to just show default way and of course you can apply your function within here so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and then after the skills i put a comma i'm going to say plugins and then i'm going to say to tip and once we do this i want to pinpoint here or at least do a callback so it's a callbacks with an s and then in here i'm going to use the label callback and i'm going to say here Double parentheses, and I'm going to say the tooltip item, comma the data, and then I'm going to use the function error expression because because it's a callback. And then here, what I want to do is I'm going to show you the most important part of it. Let's do console log and just grab this tooltip item. And I see I misspelled this. Copy that, paste, save, refresh. So right now the tooltip will not trigger, or at least it triggers, but it doesn't show the value because it doesn't return anything. But what you get here is the data index. So this would give you which data point you are at. Secondly, you also get the data set index, which would indicate line one, zero, and two, or well, that's not the case, but I'm sorry. Red was the, in, the first index or data set. So that's zero, one, and two. As you can see here, this order here above. So if I go on this red one line here, you should see here, if I go down here, Data set zero, which is correct, but data set index, sorry, a data, data index zero, which is correct because it's the first data point, but also this is data set number zero as well, the first one in the array. All right, so now you understand that if I say here dot um, data set index with capital I, we should see here now the most important value, there you are, there and here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just basically here, enter, we can say you return something, let's say return, and uh, if I do here hello, save, refresh, you will see you now it will return everywhere hello. 
which is fine, but not what we want. What we want to do here is if we are on data set, this show something. So what I'm going to do is very simple if statement, say if, and just check if it's true, yes or no. So if this would be equal strict to zero, in that case, we're going to say here, um, return, and we can say, or we could say here, maybe even, uh, we could even make here let value. Um, but, but that's all right. I guess I'll leave that one for now. It's a return. This is a string value. Uh, red data set. And of course, I can duplicate this. Say here, this will be one. This will be two. This will be uh, black. And this was the blue one. And then I just remove this here. So if I save this, refresh, let's remove that. And then if I go in here, blue data set, red data set, and black data set. And what's very interesting as well is that if these two would be connected, this is another item as well. Uh, let's say instead of number nine, this will be number six. Save, refresh. So we have a connecting line here. Then you can see both of these values are being shown as well. Blue data set and black data set. In here, you could do the values. You could also do the footer. You can do uh, before footer, after footer, all these kind of options, or the title adjustment is also possible. But that's basically how you can play around with the unique data sets. So if you enjoyed this video, and maybe you wanna go more customized, or you want to customize the tooltip even deeper, as I said with before, after, title, footer, and header, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js.